Hey guys, Izzy and MJ from Endless RVing. So we get a lot of questions and if you go on the forums, you'll see them. A lot of new people in RVing, they wanna know what gear do I need? What, what do I need to get? I'm buying a new RV. And we've done videos on that, but this video is a little bit different. We're not gonna talk about the classic gear because we wanna pose a question to you. Do you RV naked? And if the answer is no, and it may be yes for some, but if the answer is no, something you gotta think about is what do you wear and what do you need to bring with you when you RV? So in this video, we're gonna talk about RV gear, specifically clothing that we have learned, some of these the hard way, that we carry all the time with us. And you're gonna to wanna to stay to the end because the last bonus item here is something that for you guys is a game changer. I know it is for me. And we're gonna show you a really cool experiment with it also. So number one, the first element we're gonna talk about is rain. So rain gear is really, really important. And we actually mm -hmm. just experienced a lot of that. A whole weekend full this of rain last weekend. and cold. Oh, it was really cold at the end of May and it was pouring the whole <laughs> weekend. It was Memorial Day weekend. We actually was, said that it had, I, we haven't seen it rain that much that long in years. Yeah, I don't think so. It was like four so. inches so of rain. Perfect timing for the, the week getaway. Mm -hmm. Anyway, these came in handy. You gotta have ponchos, all right? So we, we carry two different kinds. We carry, you know, the disposable type that are just, I mean, I got, I think I bought like 12 of them in a bunch mm -hmm. off Amazon. We'll put links below for this stuff if you don't have any. And then this one is just kind of a more durable type that is not disposable. So, and it comes in a little, carrying pouch just be careful with these two that you don't put them away wet no you don't, you don't want mold mildew. No, and mildew yeah so this will give you a little bit more protection but if you have to run out and do something you know the disposable ones these are fine. these are perfect if you're like at an rv show i think that's why we bought it because it, it literally weighs nothing yeah and you can pack a whole bunch of these and they backpack. are disposable yeah. so it's, it's nice to have if you want to step up and we would suggest if you are rving a lot you're going to want to get real rain gear so this is from eastern mountain sports it's the raincoat I don't have the pants on, but there is matching pants, but I use this all the time. And actually this past weekend, I didn't use it because MJ stole it from me. Uh, so I was the one getting wet, but this stuff works Aww. really well. My, my gentleman. It has pockets, zip pockets on the side, yeah, zip pocket great. inside, zips up. Kept and me very dry. hood zips all the way up. And then you slip the pants over your regular mm -hmm. clothing and you were dry. Now I've used this multiple times. Listen, you don't know when you pull up somewhere, if it's raining, you got to set up, right? At, at minimum, you got to plug in. You don't want to be out there yeah. if it's downpouring. Yeah. So number one, we highly suggest getting and keeping on board is rain gear. All right, so we all know that camping is not always warm, right? <laughs> so some people camp in the cold on purpose. Some people get caught in the cold. How like, many- Like in Texas this past right. year. How many times will you see on the, the Facebook pages and the forums, hey, I was out here and it was nice yesterday mm -hmm. and now it's snowing. Like it yeah. happens, especially in the spring and in the fall, that can happen. So we would suggest carrying some cold weather gear. So the first thing I'm gonna show, and we've done a video talking about this, and this is an awesome jacket. It's by a company company called Iuric and it is a heated jacket and it's it's pretty awesome it runs it on a lithium battery and you get on if you run it for like eight hours it still has charge can I turn you on yeah well let me zip it up first so a couple <laughs> couple reasons why I like this coat is that it has a nice YK zipper and it not only has the zipper it has the buttons also and a hood and it's fleece lined the most important thing is MJ is going to hit this little button here you can see this it's probably not charged because it's summertime but <laughs> you're gonna charge this up and it'll it is actually heating panels but it in turns here. it turns red right a heating panels are in here and it will heat up instantly there's like three levels of heating i'm telling you right now i wear this in the winter with like a shirt underneath and it burns the top and you're good to go off. so no really after it heats up in like a couple minutes i just turn it down to yeah. like the maintenance level it works really awesome so number three is also a cold weather item and this was an awesome christmas gift from izzy one year and it's savior heated gloves these are awesome for a couple different ways for if i'm walking the dogs and it's you know the dead of winter these come in really really handy double this up with the heated jacket and i'm in heaven so they have three levels you have the on off and you can do three levels
levels of heat. And then you have an adjustable strap to tighten it up around your wrist so the snow or whatever doesn't get in. The fingers, everything is super warm material. These are just, it's just so great to keep those digits nice and toasty in the winter. So we'll put the links below heated gloves. So number four is some type of outdoor shoe. I prefer a waterproof shoe for many reasons, but I have the Adidas Terex and this one, I tried on a lot of different ones. The one that you have with Solomon's. Yeah, that's a really popular one. That's I, like the it, cop shoe. It just wasn't comfortable for me. This is really, really comfortable. And I use this all the time. You wake up in the morning, we go to take the dogs out. There's dew all over the grass at yes. campgrounds. Your feet get soaked. They don't with this. We just had huge rains here. You have rain at campgrounds. Again, you don't want your regular sneakers to get soaked. This has is, is come in handy so many times. So any type of outdoor waterproof shoe is a great way to go. So if you're finding value in this video so far, guys, please feel free to hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so you know when we release new videos. We got a lot of good stuff coming at you. Also, if you like dogs, and who doesn't like dogs? <laughs> we started a new channel. It's called the Pitbull Adventures of Sierra and Bowser, our two sweethearts. We're gonna link that right above. Check out the channel and feel free to subscribe to that as well. All right, number five, I oh. would highly recommend this. <laughs> Don't laugh at Izzy. Is some kind of uh, head covering. Now, baseball caps were great, but the reality is in the summer, it can get really hot out. I don't have much hair on my head and I don't want my scalp to burn. So MJ laughs at me all the time about this, but I don't really care. I call him the croc hunter. <laughs> so this is a boonie hat. This is not something earth shattering here, but I'll tell you a reason why I like this type of hat. Some people call it bucket hats, whatever your name is for it. You can have it with you know, the flaps up if you want to have your ears exposed. But I prefer with the flaps down. It gives you a nice brim of shade to protect your face, your neck, your ears. And then if you're out there and you're really active, say you're, you know, uh, quadding like we were in Aruba, right? Or you're on a boat, you could just look. And now this baby ain't going anywhere. Mm -hmm. I've worn this on campgrounds, in the Caribbean, Disney. hiking, Disney, it doesn't matter. If you see me in the summer, I'll probably have something on like this if I'm gonna be outside. Let us know in the comments below, do you wear a boonie hat? I think it's awesome, but just something to protect the dome. You just can't let the hat go, can you? It's part of the whole look. So that, That's hot. <laughs> totally. Number, I actually look like a fisherman right now. <laughs> Number six is going to be, I mean, it is clothing. It's not going to really keep you warm, but it's a reflective vest. Now we're trying to prepare as best we can for different types of situations. One of those situations may be the dark. Now we've talked about this in other videos. We've actually done videos talking about camping in the dark. We'll link them above, but I cannot stress enough how important a reflective vest is. This is coming from a cop. Because so listen. yeah, so bang for buck. I mean, these things are like 10 bucks. This can keep you from being roadkill, mm -hmm. right? Like, yeah. so we live in a very, in a neighborhood that has no sidewalks, no street lights, and there's people that run on these streets mm -hmm. in the dark and they don't wear these. And I've come close a couple of times to clipping people. And I usually roll the window down and I say, tell them you really should put something on mm -hmm. because I didn't see you. But something like this, or even they sell uh, like those LED lights like you can clip on, yeah. whatever, something, a glow lamp, if one of those glow mm -hmm. sticks, if you wanna yeah, put it around yeah. your neck, something where people can see you. Super important, reflect the vest again, bang for the buck. In my opinion, it's worth it. Okay, so here's number seven, the bonus item, and one that is now in the toolbox, really. And this one is for the guys out there. I'm, I'm stepping up, I'm standing up for the guys. So in the comments, let us know, married men out there, which one of your significant other partner is constantly nagging you that you need to look nicer. So you gotta bring nice clothes just in case you're gonna go out somewhere when you go camping. I know that I try to pack the minimum amount possible, so. Who packs your clothes for camping? MJ does. Oh, okay. If it was me, it'd be like <laughs> two sets of pants and that would be it. But it would be even like one set now. So what I'm wearing right now are the Evolution Pants from Western Rise, westernrise.com. They're an online company that specialize in outdoor gear, but what's different is that their outdoor gear has like multiple uses. So the way it's designed, and if you look at my pants right now, you can see these pants are functional outdoor pants. I could use these for hiking, for walking, for running around, but at the same time, I could use them if I wanna go out to a dinner. That's the way they're designed. They are made of like a synthetic material. They are super 
light. Like, I, it feels like I'm naked right now. But they have all the features that I look for in pants, right? So if I look for pants, they have to have pockets. Like, I talk to MJ about this all the time. I'm always carrying her stuff. She's like, I have no pockets. I'm like, hun, how do you buy pants without pockets? That's a man thing. Like, that's, that's crazy to me, right? But anyway, these have the belt loops. So guys, if you like to carry things on your waist, which some people do, I do, you need belt loops, so you need a belt. Two pockets up front, and the right pocket has another second pocket, which you can stick a flashlight in, a knife, keys, whatever. Two rear pockets, they work out well. Button, zipper, they come in different colors, different sizes. Now I do have to say that we didn't really know about this company until they reached out to us. They sent us the Evolution pants. I've been wearing them for some time now. They're awesome. We do have a discount code. It is Endless RV. You get 10% off if you choose to purchase these. The link will be below. But what we want to show you, what's super awesome about these, other than their five-star rating online, is we're going to do a little demonstration for you. So look, everybody, what I'm wearing now. I am set up for camping. But this can change really quickly with a snap of a finger. All I had to do was throw on a different shirt, and now I'm ready for a night on the town. So check it out, right? Same pants. Looking good, baby. And they're completely functional. When I get back from dinner or wherever, I can take this off and sit at the campfire. It works awesome. But here's one other thing we're gonna show you. These are completely waterproof pants. Well, they're water resistant, but I'm gonna show you something that's really, this actually blew MJ's mind. So as an all around pant, it's gotta be somewhat water resistant, which it is. So what MJ's doing right now, she's just pouring water out of a bottle onto the pants and you're seeing how the water is bouncing off the pants. It's gonna keep everything warm and everything dry, which is what you want when you out there camping. So in the comments below, let us know what is your favorite RV clothing gear. All right, it's a little different. Put in the comments below. Also a reminder, like MJ said earlier, all everything will be linked below for the products or get them wherever you want. And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see, see you on, on the, the road. road.